Hey YouTube, what is happening? This is Nav. Today I bring you the review of my very first 3D printer, the Flash Forge Finder. Now stay tuned to see what I've printed with this machine, as well as the quality and whether I would recommend this machine to you or not as a first time buyer. So without further ado, let's get started. A few years ago when I found out about 3D printing, it got me very excited because I loved the idea of printing 3D objects right at home. However, there were a few factors that stopped me from getting into 3D printing. Number one was the cost. The cost was for me was prohibitive because it was around £2,000 to buy such a printer and the quality wasn't that great. So yeah, I couldn't justify spending that much on a printer that I would just be printing knickknacks at home. Secondly, aesthetics these things were not pretty at all this was a printer that you would probably use in a workshop or a garage you wouldn't want to put this printer in your living room on a desk and thirdly the complications that these early models had with regards to calibration leveling lots of lots of tweaking so that got me that put me off for 3d printing to start off with that's history up until a few weeks ago when i decided to buy my very first printer because the cost was getting cheaper and cheaper with these printers aesthetically they were getting nicer and this is when i decided to purchase the flash forge finder because this printer was less than 500 pounds aesthetically it looks amazing it's gorgeous you'd like to put it on your desk inside your house and not in a workshop or garage and the price like i said is amazing too and the quality is fantastic for such a cheap printer as you can see the quality is really good i've been printing all sorts groot uh, fidget spinners uh, baby toys baby rattle um, a whistle, LED lamps, the T800 Terminator prop head and some clamps that actually work as well. Now I also want to point out how simple it is it was to set up. The leveling process was very easy. All you need to do to print an object is download the file onto a USB stick, click on build you click on the USB stick uh, icon and just click on the item that you want to print. The build time varies from uh, obviously product to product but uh, the outcome is absolutely amazing. Here's a quick time lapse video of a fidget spinner that I printed. Since I've had it, I've had one occasion where the extruder was uh, jammed. All you have to do is just open a couple of screws uh, from the extruder head and there's a few screws that you just need to open and then from then onwards there's a little tool that you get, a needle tool that you just push onto one, once the extruder is hot and you can just unjam it. It's very simple and there are a ton of videos on how to do it as well so that was the only small problem that I had but otherwise this printer has been fantastic. Another great feature that this printer has over some others that I, rec uh, that I considered to purchase was the ability to turn off the filament sensor and what that means that is that I can use third party filaments as well. Some other printers that I were considering they did not have the option to turn off the filament sensor so you were stuck to purchase the uh, branded filaments for that particular printer which can be costly. So final thoughts and conclusion about this printer, I absolutely love it and would 100% recommend you to get yours as well. If you've not got into 3D printing and you're a little bit reluctant, I would say go for it. If you don't mind that little bit of tweaking, it's a lot less and it's a lot easier than it used to be. And the customer service at Flash Forge is absolutely amazing too. And the community, online community about Flash Forge is also great. 
my nine-year-old daughter was able to use this printer as well from start to finish so it must be simple